Hey guys, it's Bean and Dale. Welcome back to Bean and Dale. I am playing Hexen because I am Bean and Dale, and that is what I was doing right now. There's a couple of guys here. Take them out. There you are. Now we'll jump over here because we gotta go into the sewer. Oh, this sewer actually leads somewhere. Oh, quick, check the other sewers. I'll flex my fingers. Down there. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a bottomless pit. I, I don't think I asked for that, but okay. We'll save that on the can you jump in there slot. That also means that my favorite enemy is attacking me. Also, the stinky mushrooms. My favorite enemy. Huh. Um, can also make that go down, which... Where's that go? Oh, that goes back here. Okay, that's nice. Oh, you can also open that, which opens another portal. Okay, I don't know if you were supposed to jump up there. That was, that, that was just a good jump. Okay, where's this go? This goes to an even new part of the outpost. And a door opened in the gibbet just because I went up here. You can kind of tell that that's a guy's behind me. It's it should symbolize something, probably, but I am too busy to figure that out. Got boots. Power. Other than that, that's pretty much this entire area. So, if I go back here, and then I head back to the other place, there's still one of the. Oh, sorry, not that way. This way. We're almost done with this hub, actually. Go down help. Holy snap, a weapon I've never gone before. Why do they do that? Why do they like give you a weapon that you that pretty much you should have gotten by now? If you want to do a weapon, let's run. Sure. Okay. Well, that thing just leads me back here. Does it open up the other way? Nope. Just kind of leads me back here. Well, the, well, the door open in the gibbet, so I'm gonna head to the gibbet. So yeah, I could turn it from there. Like, you hear a door open upstairs. So okay. Okay, so we hear a door open upstairs. So we're gonna head. That's a very odd upstairs I was thinking of. I mean this area. Kinda squeeze in through there. There you go. Axe key. Look, just like an axe. I don't know about the key. Maybe it's body spray. Okay. Open the door. Whoa, gosh. Don't mind if I just grab that. Okay. Okay, okay sure. If you send your only bad guys at me. Sure. I'll just have to take them on then. It's kind of bad because you don't get a choice about whether you want to take these guys down or not. Like, with what weapon? Whoa, jeez! You know, the Doom games are all about, like, they're about having several weapons and having to choose which one's the best for the situation. Also, I'm running low on mana. Have you guys got any? Very bright room. Got it. I guess you can just do that. So then. Hey, you got any mana just hiding behind here? No. Dang. 
dang kill the enemies to proceed room and you don't put any mana in it. There we go, we did it. Oh crap. So there's this guy here. And I don't have any mana at all. Oh, but there is that thing. I don't think that's gonna help me though. Do I have any items that would help me? I've got this thing. Go! <laughs> that thing's actually pretty cool. That thing is actually pretty cool. I actually think that's an enemy. That's an, uh... I think that's actually an enemy in, uh... Heretic. It's a pretty mean one of that. Okay, so he doesn't, he's not forever. Until you spawn in a sec- oh crap. Until you spawn in a second one. Go, go, go. This guy's tough. So he just kind of freezes. Is he? He's honestly just stuck there. Okay. What can I do? What does that thing do? Does that make me invisible? That's a really weird way of hitting him. He's the boss guy and you're hitting him with that? Of all things, I'm sure. See, his lava thing doesn't hurt. It looks like it does, though. Because, you know, it's lava. Hmm. I don't know what happened here. Pop! Gosh, yeah, those things aren't gonna be good. Yep, thought so. Huh. And he shall journey into the realms of the dead and contest with the forces therein unto the very gates of despair. But whether he shall return again to the world of light, no man knows. Damn. And that starts us on the final hub, which. Necropolis. Are you strong enough to face your own masters? Possibly. Oh, and here we go, a new enemy. These are like ghost guys. They fire balls at you. They don't take that many hits, actually, to be honest. Also, there's mana, mana, mana. Must grab. Woo! Not doing that much damage either, to be honest. Of course, they're gonna be scary, because. Look at them. Just takes a few of those, really. So, I guess you'll be finding them in large numbers. Also, this is a pretty cool place. Okay, so you see how there's three symbols there, so. Kinda guessing, okay, that's where I've gotta go. After clearing out. Of enemies. So how well is this against them? Okay, that is extremely effective against them. Yeah, I don't mind if I take all the purple potions. Ooh, what's down here? Button. What does the button do? Button opens back door. Back door has. Oh yeah, I remember. The back door has a back section. Kind of annoying one of that, hey. Actually, you know what? I'll use this. Does that grant me invincibility or does it just grant me good armor? I haven't gotten hit yet while using it. So I don't know what's with that, but okay. 
Seems to last a short time, so it must be pretty good. I think it is invincibility, actually, to be honest. That's pretty good, then. Jump! Why am I jumping on those? I can just go through here. Why jump when you can go? Okay, so we grab that, and there's a portal. <laughs> no, wait, you just go straight into Traductus's tomb. This portal that leads you straight back here. I'll, I'll, I'll look around this area, actually, and then we'll call that part. How do you get back up? I think you have to stay down here, I guess, then. Alright. Now I remember going down here. This was this this was map that I said this would make a good deathmatch map. Well it doesn't look like that at first, believe me, when you see the map, you know exactly what I mean. In fact there's not really that many enemies. 64, that's not that many. Compared to 120 or something on the hub. There's a lot of these guys, I'll tell you that. It's kind of weird, you see like different kinds of windows. That's it. Reach the end of the stage. Good job. Oh, that's not the end of the stage. There's a lot of these guys though. A lot of them. How many? There's so many of them. And then you run out of ammo. So anyway, there's a nice little triangle here. They make a nice triangle. So, oh gosh. Give me so many purple potions and then you give me barely any mana. That, that. Now if we head back here. Oh crap. Oh yeah. I remember you gotta take out. Let's go. Oh crap. actually got to take out these enemies, which is kind of weird. Now the problem is, I don't have any ammo, again, but I do have these. Also, he, he has the weird spirit thing. Dang it. Well, I guess I'll see you kids next time on Hexen. See you kids then.